May God's mercy, peace, and blessings be upon you. Welcome to our video on treating arthritis and knees without medications. Do you know that you can get rid of inflammation and pain in the joints and knees on your own and without medications? Do you have any idea how? Follow me step by step and be sure to watch until the end. So if you're ready, let's get into it. The diseases cause and origin, as well as the primary source of inflammation and pain in the joints and knees, must be addressed. Do not treat the results only, you will not benefit. You must understand that your excess weight and obesity, as well as your unhealthy eating habits, are the leading causes of inflammation and pain in your joints and knees. The most common cause of the problem is, consuming large amounts of carbohydrates and sugars, which are similar to starches. Eating refined white sugar, sweets, and starches in large quantities on a daily basis causes a rapid rise in blood sugar levels, and as the sugar rises, so does insulin in the blood. Day by day, you will develop insulin resistance and gain weight. High insulin and blood sugar levels are the main causes of inflammation in the body, particularly in the knees and arthritis. You won't be able to climb ladders or stairs anymore. Your knees are cracking and feeling rough. You're experiencing knee and joint pain. Watch and see, who is most likely to develop knee and arthritis pain? Were you aware of what that is? It is accurate to say that they are patients with insulin resistance and diabetes. Consuming sugars and having high blood sugar will damage your body's joints over time, as well as lead to a serious vitamin D, B1, and B12 deficiency, a significant magnesium deficiency, and damage to the albuminous fluid that lubricates the cartilage between your joints. Joint roughness results from a decrease in fluid and a reduction in joint distance, brought on by high blood sugar and insulin. Joint fluid gets less in quantity and occasionally disappears entirely. Here, there is a lot of pain and extreme roughness. You keep eating sugar, you don't cut back, and you always have high insulin levels. You are now overweight, obese, insulin resistant, liver fat, high cholesterol, and frequently have a fatty liver and an underactive thyroid. In addition to your arthritis and knees, do you know what the cause of all these health issues is? The cause is the abundance of sugar and starches in your diet. Consuming large amounts of gluten is another major cause of knee pain and arthritis. The protein known as gluten is present in bread, wheat, barley, wheat flour, and pastries. Are you aware of what gluten can do? Consuming bread and pastries can seriously harm the intestines, as well as the openings and leaks that occur within them. The damaged area will now be attacked by the immune system. Bacteria from the intestines openings will infiltrate the bloodstream due to intestinal leakage, which can lead to a variety of infections in your body, including knee and arthritis pain. Never forget that gluten is toxic to the body, especially for those with weakened immune systems. Gluten is hard to digest and will seriously compromise your health. One of them is knee and joint pain and inflammation. Healing of your stomach and digestive system is a prerequisite for healing of your joints. Using sugar and gluten will not help your stomach or digestive system heal. Diseases originate in the stomach, and the head of medicine is the diet. Milk consumption is another factor contributing to arthritis and knee pain. Milk contains high levels of lactose, a sugar that can lead to high blood sugar, and casein, a protein that causes inflammation in the body, colon, and stomach. Therefore, a patient with diabetes needs to abstain from milk entirely. In addition to eliminating good bacteria from your intestines, milk may also be the source of intestinal leaks and systemic inflammation. Legumes are high in lectins, examples of these include kidney beans, chickpeas, and beans. Sticky proteins called lactins are responsible for a number of health issues, including arthritis and knee pain, as well as colon inflammation. Hydrogenated vegetable oils, peanuts, and foods high in omega-6 are other sources of joint and knee inflammation. Omega-6 exacerbates joint and knee pain and inflammation while also increasing inflammatory responses throughout the body. Alright, so now we've reached the stage of knee and arthritis symptoms. The patient may report sporadic and multiple body joint and knee pain complaints. You might express complaints of excruciating joint or knee stiffness. The knee or the afflicted joint may swell 
depending on where the patient's inflammation is located. The affected area may turn red, and the patient may experience restricted mobility or be unable to move their knee or affected joint. The knee or joint in question may become hotter in the affected area. The body temperature can rise occasionally. The patient may experience general weakness, weariness, and dry mouth and eyes. Therefore, which tests ought to be carried out for individuals who have knee pain and arthritis? Sometimes MRIs, ESR tests, and X-rays are necessary. This is a short but crucial test. A different test is called rheumatoid factor, RF. In addition, a CRP protein test and antibody analysis are required, and anti-CCP is a crucial test. Okay, we've arrived at a healthy diet for a patient with arthritis and knee problems. Do you know what the most important thing you should do to recover from arthritis and knee pain? Intermittent fasting. Do you know what happens if you follow an intermittent fasting system? Your blood sugar and insulin levels have dropped, and the infections in your body will gradually disappear. Furthermore, fasting during Ramadan and the three white days lowers blood sugar, returns insulin to normal levels, and aids in infection recovery. It initiates an autophagy and cleaning process in all cells of your body, devouring all abnormal cells, including cancerous ones. After devouring all of the inflammatory cells and abnormal cells in the joints, the body's cells, particularly those of the joints and knees, are renewed. Furthermore, glory to God, fasting during the month of Ramadan cleanses and renews the blood, nervous system, muscles, bones, and every cell in the body. I discussed intermittent fasting and fasting during the holy month of Ramadan. I'll move on to foods that can help you with arthritis and knee pain. Consume one or two dates, seven dried grapes, or one piece of fruit per day. You have completely avoided eating white sugar and sweets. To rejuvenate your joints and heal from arthritis, you must consume natural collagen derived from beef bone broth and soup, which is fantastic and extremely beneficial for renewing and restoring your intestines, as well as restoring and regenerating your joints. You can eat eggs, which are high in collagen. Eat citrus fruits high in vitamin C to boost collagen levels in the body. Eat sulfur-rich vegetables like onions, garlic, broccoli, cabbage, and cauliflower. Sulfur helps to regenerate cartilage and albuminous fluid between joints. Consume healthy fats and plain butter high in vitamin K2. Consume ginger and turmeric, which are antioxidants and anti-inflammatory agents that help relieve pain and improve blood flow to the joints. Eat avocados and avocado oil, which can be mixed into food. Okay, do you know what are the most important calcium-rich foods? Sardines, salmon, seafood, nuts, and dark greens like arugula and broccoli. Calcium-rich foods include cheese, local butter, ghee, yogurt, and sesame. Avoid consuming sugars, gluten, milk, and hydrogenated vegetable oils. Unfortunately, at that point, you will be unable to absorb calcium from food. Consume chia seeds, flax seeds, herbs, and marine fish, which are all high in omega-3. So, if you suffer from arthritis and knee pain, which nutritional supplements should you take? Omega-3 is a natural anti-inflammatory. Magnesium, take 250 to 400 mg tablets daily after lunch or dinner for 3 months. Magnesium citrate or glacinite. Magnesium is extremely beneficial in the treatment of arthritis and overall body inflammation. Vitamin D is more than just a vitamin, it is also a hormone, an anti-inflammatory, and a pain reliever that protects your joints from immune system attacks. Vitamin K2 is extremely important. It removes the calcium deposits that accumulate between the joints as we age. It also requires calcium for bone formation, and vitamin K2 protects against osteoporosis and improves joint flexibility. It helps to regenerate joints and cartilage. If you don't eat bone broth soup, collagen type 2 is an excellent nutritional supplement. Boron intake of 3 mg per day for 3 months is highly recommended. It balances magnesium and calcium levels in the bones and joints. There is also an important nutritional supplement called glucosamine which is a sugar that is good for joint fluid. Chondroitin is beneficial to cartilage. 
I discussed nutritional supplements, and you may have noticed that I didn't mention calcium. Do you know when your calcium levels drop? What symptoms may appear? Muscle tension, depression, and anxiety. When you're feeling depressed or anxious, eat calcium-rich foods like seafood, salmon or cheese, butter, milk, and yogurt. Symptoms of calcium deficiency include tingling and numbness in the extremities. Don't assume that you have a vitamin B12 deficiency. Do not think you are calcium deficient. If you are deficient in calcium, do not take a calcium carbonate supplement. Taking calcium citrate as a dietary supplement. Calcium carbonate, a popular supplement, is a bad choice and may increase your risk of heart attacks and heart clots. It can cause calcification in your blood vessels, which includes your arteries and veins. This calcification will narrow the blood vessels. Calcium carbonate supplements may also cause kidney stones, gallstones, indigestion, and constipation. A calcium citrate supplement strengthens your bones and protects them against osteoporosis. I'm talking about calcium citrate, which should be taken after the age of 60 to protect bones from fragility. However, people under the age of 50 should avoid calcium. Eat calcium-rich foods and supplement with vitamin D, omega-3, K2, and magnesium. Remember that the first and most important step toward recovery from joint and knee inflammation is to lose excess weight and overcome obesity. After losing weight, practice walking and joint exercises. Completely abstain from smoking. Breathe deeply and exhale for a few minutes every morning and evening. Maintain a healthy lifestyle and chew your food properly. Plan to sleep between 11.30 p.m. and wake up between 6.30 to 7 a.m. Do not rush into a discussion about sports and walking. Postpone it until you have lost weight. Follow all of the tips and directions I provided, and you will be able to walk half an hour per day and do some light exercises. I hope that by now you are aware of treating arthritis and knees without medications. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friend and hit that subscribe button below. Your support means the world to me. Don't miss out on future content, ring the notification bell to stay updated. I love hearing from you, so drop a comment with your thoughts or suggestions. What topics do you want me to cover next? Let me know. And before you go, remember, you're awesome, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Until next time, stay inspired and keep rocking.